What is up everyone? Welcome to DeFi Digs. Today we're going to take a look at staking, uh, liquid staking derivatives for DOT. I know a lot of people have been waiting for these um, for quite a while as the staking within the native Polkadot wallet has been full for a large portion of the last year and frankly um, doing anything in the Polkadot wallet is a bit of a nightmare. Um, I'm going to cover off on three options. The only three options that I'm aware of that are currently out. I'm sure there will be more coming down the road, but I'll cover off on all three um, as well as provide an example of where you can utilize each of these um, tokens for, for each one. Um, all three of them are on separate parachains also, so I'm going to briefly cover off on how to move um, your dot from the relay chain onto each of these parachains. Um, before we dig in, nothing in this video is financial advice. This video is for educational purposes only. Please do your own research into anything you're interested in using. Let's dig into it. <clears throat> for those that aren't aware what a liquid staking derivative is, it's a token that you receive in return for staking your DOT or your ETH or whatever token um, you are staking. Um, and that liquid staking derivative automatically accrues value from the staking rewards. Um, but because you receive this token in return for staking, you can then use it in other DeFi apps to do things like um, borrow against or um, provide liquidity, um, just like you with a native token. However, you'll be earning the staking rewards while you do it. Liquid staking derivatives have become more and more prevalent um, for most of the major L1s over the last year. Um, they are super cool. Uh, Lido is kind of the most well-known company in this space. They have the biggest market share of the staked ETH. They also have Solana, Kusama, Polygon, and Polkadot. Um, they actually released Polkadot latest out of the three that we're gonna cover off today. Um, and for those wondering, yes, Kasama is an option on all three that we're going to cover. It's the exact same process. You just need to select Kasama instead of Polkadot. So if you are a KSM holder, you can take advantage of all of these options with your KSM as well. And if you don't know what Kasama is, if you're kind of new to the Polkadot ecosystem, Kasama is basically um, a sister chain to Polkadot where uh, a lot of the apps and developers will kind of release an initial test version it's not a test version it's it's it is a, a main net not a test net um, but it just has kind of some looser governance rules so teams can kind of move faster and test stuff out before moving it to um, the main polka dot chain the first one we're going to cover is parallel finance they were actually the first ones to release a liquid uh, dot token i believe um, they are on Kasama as well, and then they're expanding to Ethereum and Solana. For all these protocols, um, I'm just going to cover off on the liquid staking section. We're covering off on three, so I want to be concise about it. I'll probably do a full breakdown of the other apps and everything else, kind of a more thorough breakdown in other videos, but focusing just on liquid staking for, for this video. So uh, to do that, we would come to Polkadot. We would hit stake. This is going to bring you to the staking section where you can stake your dot. 14.5% uh, um, is the staking yield, and then they give uh, another 10% in their para token um, if you put your dot up in their money market, um, if you lend it out right here. So um, here's some dot that's being lent out, and then um, and that's earning 10.3% currently. Now, when you come to stake, the you're not going to be able to stake uh, unless the dot is on parallel, since parallel is a separate parachain. So you need to move the dot from uh, the relay chain to uh, to parallel. And to do that, you would come right here. You would hit overview. That's going to show you the balance that you have on the relay chain. And then you would just transfer that to parallel and it's just gonna automatically uh, bridge it over. <clears throat> if you're not familiar with relay chain, parachain, basically um, you can kind of, in a very, very crude, oversimplified version, think of it as Ethereum being um, the relay chain and you know Arbitrum or any of the L2s as the parachain. <clears throat> the difference is that Polkadot was built with that sort of scalability in mind 
and Ethereum is kind of, you know, uh, adjusting um, and not really native to it. So um, it works quite well. Uh, if you don't know how to send uh, DOT to the relay chain, you would need to download the Polkadot.js wallet. There's also some other wallets. I know that a lot of people really like Talisman. I haven't used it, but once you download that, go to polkadot.js.org. The top left slash apps. That's gonna bring you to the main UI for the wallet. Go to the top left up here. Make sure you hit the polka dot section switch if you're not already on it. Go to accounts. And then this wallet right here is where you're gonna send the dot to. So if you have dot sitting on an exchange, you would send it to that wallet right there. Make sure to do a test transaction first just to make sure everything works. Once you have that dot on the relay chain, then it should show up right here. Um, also important to note, you do need to leave one dot in your Polkadot wallet as an existential deposit, which is a very dramatic title for just a minimum deposit in order to keep your dot wallet active. So leave one dot in your Polkadot.js wallet. Once you have it on uh, in your wallet, you can transfer to parallel. Boom, do that. Go into stake. Now your dot will be available on parallel. You can hit however much you wanna stake and then they also have the option of automatically depositing the S dot into their money market to earn that additional yield. So if you want to do that, you can check that. If not, you can leave it unchecked. If you uncheck it and you want to deposit it down the line, you just hit apps, go to money market, select S dot and deposit the amount that you want. Again, you can do this on Kasama as well if you are a KSM holder, same exact process. Next one we're gonna look at is Lido, the most well-known when it comes to uh, liquid staking tokens. They have, as I said, the biggest market share for ETH. Um, they also have these other tokens as well, and they just released, they were the latest one to release their polka dot. Theirs is at 16.5, Parallels is at 14.5, and Akala, which we're gonna look at later, is also 14.5. So it is worth noting that you do get an extra 2% currently on Lido. Um, but let's dig into how to do that. So we hit stake now. It's going to bring us to this staking uh, window. Um, straightforward process. Again, you need to have DOT in your wallet before you can stake it. Now, the difference here is that Lido actually uses Moonbeam, which is uh, a different parachain um, than Parallel. So uh, we would need to transfer um, onto Moonbeam. And to do that, we would hit transfers here in the top left. Make sure we have Polkadot again in our relay chain wallet. Um, I have that one dot right here, which my um, extension is connected already. Then connect your MetaMask or whatever um, EVM wallet you use. And make sure it is on Moonbeam. From there, you are just going to transfer however much you want. That's going to move it from the relay chain onto parachain Moonbeam. And then from there, you will have XC dot in your wallet, which you can turn into ST dot, which is Lido's staked dot derivative. So same process, put in however much you want to stake. Once you transfer it over, stake it, and then you'll have ST dot in your wallet. Um, you can also unstake here, whatever you want. One thing I forgot to mention is you do need uh, the native parachain token for gas for all these transactions. So on parallel, you need uh, para on um, for Lido since it's on Moonbeam. Moonbeam, you need Glimmer, GLMR. And for Akali, you need ACA. Um, I think there's a, a Moonbeam faucet. Um, and then I just had para tokens in my wallet somehow when I started using parallel. Um, and then Akala, I think you have to buy on a, on a centralized exchange, unfortunately still. But if you hop into their discords, Somebody should be able to help you out if you're, if you're having trouble with that. For ST dot, um, Lido sponsoring a pool uh, in incentivizing a pool, I should say on Curve. If you go to Curve and you connect to Moonbeam, there is a staked dot concentrated liquidity pool where um, Lido is dishing out some LDO tokens to incentivize liquidity. So you would come in here and uh, deposit your ST dot into this pool. It is an ST dot XC dot pool.
pool, so there's no impermanent loss, um, or at least you know negligible amounts, um, and um, be earning Lido tokens. So that's a good spot to use your stake dot if you opt for um, Lido's derivative. Moving on to Akala. Akala was the second one to launch their uh, liquid staking token, I believe. Um, they function pretty similarly. So um, you would come to the liquid staking section, um, and this is where you would stake your dot to receive LDOT, which is what they call theirs. However, remember we need to bridge over to the Akala parachain. So we would go to the bridge, make sure we have our dot on our relay chain main wallet here um, connect that and then destination chain obviously is akala transfer and now we will have our dot on akala then we can come to the liquid staking section stake however much dot we want um, and receive uh, l dot in return uh, theirs is just like parallel 14 and a half percent they do have a slightly different um, incentivization where on the earn section if you were to come here and go to collateral staking you can then stake your L dot and you'll be receiving uh, currently 8% in AUSD which is their um, over collateralized stable coin so um, you can also mint AUSD by providing dot or L dot um, or Akala as collateral and then uh, minting your AUSD. The collateral ratio is, is quite high right now, 300%, so it's kind of inefficient, um, but that is an option. Um, and again, if you hit uh, the liquid staking section and you just have this checked, it will automatically put it in the collateral staking right here where you'll be earning um, in AUSD. Um, also, you have the option of entering into the AUSD uh, L dot liquidity pool where you'll be receiving um, currently 24% in their Akala tokens. Obviously, you'll uh, be exposed to impermanent loss on this since one of these is a stable coin, but that is an option for you. And if you're interested in the Kasama version of Akala, it's called Karura. apps.karura.network and it is the exact same interface and exact same process, just like Parallel, except you're using Kasama um, instead of Polkadot. That wraps us up for Liquid.Staking. If you guys found the video helpful, please consider subscribing or give the video a thumbs up. It really helps the channel out. Um, I will be covering off on a lot more Polkadot stuff down the road. I know it's a little intimidating right now just because everything's kind of launching and just getting established. But if you have any questions, you can hit me up on Twitter at DeFi Digs, um, or you can leave me a comment below and I will get back to you. Uh, thanks, guys. Catch you in the next one.